figure out where it is. If we pull this off here, can we tell where to put it right now? Without one of these. Visually, can you see where to put it? No. Is it yeah. So you probably have an idea, but you don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> and then, you know, I'll, I'll run that. I'm going to close it here, watch where I ignite. I open it, and you can see how far away we're igniting. Why? Because smoke is fuel. Closed doors, closed doors, closed doors. Isn't this better than plastic? So here we go. One more time, the door is closed. I'm gonna open it. And you can see where I ignite, all right? So that much farther away. And that's your ignition temperature, fire point, flammable rain. Chief Miller, we are at the Church Road Fire Department. Church Road Fire Department in Illinois. We're doing a Max Firebox Burn and Learn class tonight and our Firehouse Innovations Forceful Entry Door. And I want to show you some Chief Miller love. Check out all the Chief Miller decals. So just wanted to spread some love, some Chief Miller love. And look how happy he is. Look at that smile. <laughs> I mean, there's just some love here and there's some happiness. So. We're doing the Firehouse Innovations Forceful Entry Door. And then outside over here, we got, we got the Max Firebox out there. Take care, Chief Miller. Talk to you later. Hey folks, Sean here, Max Fire Training, home of the Max Firebox. Max Firebox is made in the USA, engineered to last, named after my son Max. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a Max Firebox Burn and Learn class. We're going to cover some fire behavior and thermal imaging objectives with the Max Firebox. We have Mr. Monty Hawkins helping us out today and Mr. Brendan McKee. So we're gonna highlight some fire behavior and thermal imaging with the Max Firebox. Like I said, Max Firebox, made in USA, engineered to last and named after my son, Max. We are gonna flip the camera because we wanna show you a few things here. Let's see here. Monty, how do we flip the camera? Remember, right. this is nine hertz. This is gonna be 60 hertz. So big difference there in the two cameras. So this is the FLIR K65, the FLIR K2. Now. I'm gonna close the door. Whenever I open this door, through the eyes of the camera, what it's gonna look like is flames coming out. There are no flames. All you have is smoke coming out. We open it, look at the fast traveling gray convection currents, but it looks like fire. And like we said, Max Firebox, burn and learn. Fire behavior, thermal imaging training. What we want you to do is recognize this before you go crawling into that environment using the thermal imaging camera to size it up, teaching your firefighters thermal imaging with the Max Firebox. It still looks like fire, but what does that fire need? The fire needs oxygen. That's all that fire needs. We keep the door open long enough, it's going to ignite like it just did. So big, big difference here. Hey, I hope you all are doing good. I want to tell you about the Max Firebox. Max Firebox is made in the USA. Engineered the last named after my son, Max. I'm Sean, and we got Monty Hawkins. Our tagline, Monty, is what? Burn and learn. Burn and learn. It's all about burn and learn with the Max Firebox. What we do with the Max Firebox is we bring fire behavior and thermal imaging definitions to life. Check out our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Check out our YouTube channel. Max Firebox, burn and learn. three Max Firebox crates getting ready to go out the door. One's going to Seminole State 
Florida Fire Science Program. The other one's going to Jacksboro, Texas and Cape Area, Texas. So we are here, we have ABF Freight, getting ready to take three Max Firebox crates out the door. Max Firebox, made in USA, engineered the last, named after my son Max. Have a great day. Hey folks, Sean here, Max Fire Training, home of the Max Firebox. Max Firebox, made in USA, engineered the last, named after my son Max. Tonight we are in Madison, Illinois, we're doing a Max Firebox Burn and Learn class. And what we have going here is we have two thermal imaging cameras. The folks down here in Madison, they have the MSA 5000 camera. And also what we're gonna be reviewing is the Bullard camera tonight. So two cameras that we're gonna be going through. And one of the things that we want everybody to keep in mind is each Max Firebox crate we ship, we ship with a thermal imaging training guide. That guide, thanks to our friends at Insight Fire Training. And this is an example of the MSA 5000 thermal imaging guide that comes with the Max Firebox crate, if of course you have the MSA camera. We'll contact you, we'll decide what type of cameras you have in service, and we'll make you a thermal imaging training guide. So this is just one example of the MSA. This is an example of the Bowler. So just a couple of examples there. And if you're into thermal imaging training, we also offer our thermal imaging training guide. So this is our thermal imaging training guide. It's available at our online store at maxfiretraining.com. This has over 30 thermal imaging cameras and it has multiple training objectives for you to review. So if you're researching thermal imaging cameras or if you're planning thermal imaging training, this is a great way to train in thermal imaging. So just some of the different examples there of what we have. So we are getting ready to, our tagline is burn and learn. That's what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna bring fire behavior and thermal imaging definitions to life tonight. We're gonna to be using the Max Firebox, the MSA camera, and the Bowler camera. Thanks for checking us out. We greatly appreciate it, and it's burn and learn time. Seeing a difference. Do we see a difference? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's, let's go back to the Bowler. On the Bowler camera, when we see yellow, we're at 500 degrees. When we see orange on the Bowler camera, we're at 800. And when we see red, we're over 1,000. So that's important for us to understand whenever we close this door and we open it, the different temperatures that we're gonna be at. So I'm gonna close the door again by taking the oxygen away from the fire. And you can see how fast the fire is changing gears. Every 18 degrees, the energy of the fire is gonna double. So that's one of the things that we wanna keep in mind as we look at this. We're gonna open this door back up. Like we said, smoke from the ceiling down to the floor. You should have a significant difference in the two thermal imaging cameras now, do you? Yes, yes, we did. Okay, so now, the other thing that we wanna talk about is we wanna talk about the refresh rates of the camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cameras, we're gonna go down low, go down low with it, take it off the heat. 